Okay, so this happened maybe three days ago. But first, some context. Me and my, now ex, girlfriend of three years lived in a two-bedroom apartment, which I pay for by myself, as I make enough money to afford it, and I didn't want to trouble her by pressing her with a bill for a place that's a tiny bit out of her price range. Instead, we use a meter and pay the bill through my account, with her compensating her spend. We also have always been big on trust, since both of us have been cheated on in previous relationship, and didn't want to go through that again on this one. The fact that I pay solely this apartment is important, as it allows her to spend her money on things like more expensive gifts and the occasional excursion for us, which, of course, I pay in part for. Also, the fact that we are both big on trust means we tell each other a lot about our lives and future plans. Anyways, she was always a fan of these trips abroad and loved traveling, and for the most part, our trips were always fun. However, about three days ago, she announced that she had bought tickets for a solo backpacking trip across South America, which she was going to go on on Friday, and that she had been planning this for months. First, I asked if I could come, to which she said no because she would be discovering herself on this trip. And when I asked why she hadn't told me, she said because I wouldn't have allowed, or at the very least not wanted, her to go, especially alone, which is mostly true. Well, an argument ensued, and at some point, I finally put my foot down. It went something like this this. Girlfriend, why can't I just go explore the world and live life to its fullest? Me. You can, without me or the security of my home, pack your bags and get out. I believe it was the right thing to do as she didn't pay for the apartment anyways, and so didn't have any right to demand to stay. Plus, I was willing to give her money for a hotel for a week, which she refused. That night, she went to her parents' home an hour away, and my phone was blown up with people calling me a controlling asshole and the like. My question is, am I really an asshole for this? That's pretty sus. Why can't she discover herself with you on the trip? Exactly how are you going to hold her back from discovering herself? I'd be pretty surprised if there wasn't a man involved in her decision to go on this solo trip. Either way, she was dead weight. I'm glad you stood your ground against getting manipulated by a conniving woman. Now she's free to go backpacking across the globe and discovering herself all she wants. But she'll need to figure out her living situation and rent first, though. Now for some comments. Not the a-hole. Finding herself on a solo backpacking trip likely includes sleeping around. I'm an American living in South America, and I've seen quite a bit with foreigners here. Also, she's able to pay for this trip by living off your paycheck, basically. She lived in a free, to her, apartment, and you partially financially funded other trips. At the very least, she should have told you what she was planning. Springing this on you by surprise is a very large red flag. You're the a-hole. She wanted to go traveling. As far as you know, that's all she wanted to do. You are being controlling, and the way you kicked her out is pretty damn cruel for someone you've been with for three years. Sure, you could say she didn't contribute enough by not paying for rent, but you never had an issue with this beforehand. You're the a-hole. Are y'all kidding? I get if you're concerned for her safety, but it seems like you and everyone else is simply assuming she's a dirty hoe about to go screw an entire continent without knowing shit about her. She's a freaking adult OP, and last I checked, most adults enjoy having time to themselves sometimes and shouldn't have to ask permission for that. If she paid for the trip, if you paid for no part of it, you are being controlling, telling her how she's allowed to spend her own money and time. You're the asshole, hands down. Grow the fuck up and be less controlling. How dare you sit there and tell her you have no problem paying for the apartment if you're only going to hold it against her and use it as leverage. That isn't a loving, caring, generous partner. That is someone giving you a gift so they can use it to guilt you. Story 2 Last night, me and my girlfriend were hanging out at my house. Everything was fine and I dropped her off at night because I had to work in the morning and she had to wake up early. She had an ex-boyfriend whom she'd stopped speaking to for a while. This ex-boyfriend has now resurfaced and last night when I dropped her off she hung out with him and I know because I've been suspicious of this dude since we started dating so I got creative and have texts to show that she hung out with him last night around 12.30 a.m. without my knowledge. I went to her house this morning to hang out with her before I went to work and I asked her if she'd spoken to this dude. 
Let's call him Jay. I had been asking her about Jay frequently because I do not like or trust him. And I've told her before I was uncomfortable with her texting him or hanging out with him. She told me that he had texted her last night and then I asked her if she was hanging out with him again. And that is when shit hit the fan. As soon as I asked, she told me no, she hadn't and immediately tried to turn the tables on me, accusing me of being suspicious for no reason and started going through my phone and said, I tell you everything dudes text me because I feel guilty about about it. I gave her my phone because I had nothing to hide. She found messages from an old fling I had a while back that she had told me not to speak to. And several times she said, next time a dude messages me, I won't give him an excuse. I'll just hang out with him. And you're awfully friendly with her. I hope you like her because she might be your only hope. Some of the messages I told her about and some I did not. That's on me. She, of course, got angry and told me over and over how she couldn't trust me and why I was talking to her when she told me not to. This girl sent me a message over Facebook asking a computer question. I answered her and was friendly with her because I had nothing against the girl and we chatted back and forth a bit and at one point she asked me to hang out. I gave her an excuse and didn't text her much after that. I told her I had a girlfriend but it was later in the convo. After my girlfriend was done yelling at me, I texted the girl in questions that I had a girlfriend I cared about very much and we couldn't speak anymore. What troubles me the most is how the tables turned very quickly the moment I bring Jay up and instead of arguing with her, I sat there and took it because I didn't want to argue with her because I knew she lied to me already and anything I said would have fallen on deaf ears and was what appeared to me that she was hiding something and got mad at me to put the situation in her favor. As with our previous arguments, she proceeded to call me a liar, douchebag, etc. I had to go to work, so I couldn't keep talking to her about this, but I've been thinking about this whole situation, and to be honest, I agree. I shouldn't have talked to this girl, but she shouldn't have been talking to Jay. When I asked her why she was talking to him, she told me that I never told her to stop and said, you're uncomfortable with it? What's that even mean? I told her it means that I didn't like it, and that alone should have been enough for her to not do it. Not the case. I frankly hope she just dumps me so she can feel like she won and I can move on and away from her, and from the sounds of it, she's either going to do that or just continue to talk to Jay and other dudes while we're dating. I'm literally at the end of my rope, and everything was fine until last night night until I discovered she'd lied to me about hanging out with Jay. Update. Yesterday, I was talking to her off and on and was just keeping her talking enough to get over to my house later. When I got off work, I picked her up. And when we got to my house, I told her, I don't think we should see each other anymore. And like the past, when I brought up an issue, I was expecting an argument. It went quite well, in my opinion. And all she said was, okay. And when she asked me why, I told her it just wasn't working anymore. And she went on to say, is it because you're a liar? Again, I said it just wasn't working anymore. And she said again, is it because you you constantly lie, and this time I ignored her and just let her pick her things up. After we smoked a cig in silence and I dropped her off back at her house, said goodbye, and haven't spoke to her since. And the funniest thing about it all is right after I dumped her, she already began talking to yet another ex, so I know I did the right thing. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulders, and I thank all of you for your support and advice. Some were mean, but I feel those were the ones that really pushed this forward, and I'm going to try to stop being a doormat for everyone to walk on. I'm sick of it, and it makes me unhappy, so I'm going to do something about it. Again, thank you all. I'm going to have a party this weekend with my bros who I've hardly spoken to or hung out with since I began dating her because she didn't like any of them, and it feels fucking fantastic. Edit. I recorded the whole conversation with her just in case she does come back around or tried something. If she does come around, I know I have friends that'll back me up. She has a lot of growing up to do, neither of which I think she knows how to fix. I found it hilarious that when we started dating, all her family said the exact same words. I give it a couple of months. She never understood why and said she would be with me for a long time. Now I understand why they said that. If you have good friends, and if every one of them dislikes a girl you're dating, and she dislikes them back, run. She sounds nutty. I hope this is the last of her, but girls like these are unpredictable. So tread carefully. She might try to pull something off. I bet she's pissed because she didn't get the satisfaction of getting a rise out of you. If she does indeed try to force her way back into your life, ignore her at all costs. Now for some comments. I think you did good here. She was trying to bait you into arguing whether or not you were a liar, and you didn't take it. Otherwise, I bet you would have been arguing in circles for hours, and somehow it ends up with her dumping you for lying in her mind. I'm glad this went pretty drama-free for you. I don't think you've heard the last of this woman, OP. 
See, you didn't give her what she wanted, and that was to leave the relationship with the power. She attempted to provoke you so she could leave the bigger person and tell all her friends how you're a psycho, etc, etc. She wanted you to lose your shit, and then she could tell people she broke it off with you. You didn't bite, which is why she was quiet. Chick had no idea what to do to regain the power in the breakup, and from the sounds of it, she gets off being the destroyer of men. So the fact that you dumped her probably has her befuddled. I hope she stays away, but just be aware, you could be due a psychotic visit in the near future.